The fires are currently being investigated by the Swansea Police and Fire Departments, along with assistance from the New Hampshire State Fire Marshal's Office. The first call came in just before 2 in the morning. A dump truck was on fire in the northern parking lot of the Cheshire Fairgrounds. The fire is considered suspicious. One reason why, wooden pallets that were stacked up against the truck. It only took firefighters about 15 minutes to put the fire out, but that was just the first one. While we were here in the course of extinguishing that fire, um, we observed a building at the other end of the uh, fairgrounds that was on fire. That building was one of the cattle barns located in the southern section of the fairgrounds. The fire chief sounded a second alarm to bring additional firefighters and equipment to the scene. The overriding concern to keep the fire from spreading. The fair um, has cattle barns and they're about 400 feet long and there's three of them in very close proximity and the fire was uh, originated in the middle barn so we had exposures on both sides. Much like the first fire, firefighters were able to get the fire knocked down quickly. Only a couple of stalls and some equipment stored in the end was lost. While there is electricity to the cattle sheds, fire investigators are also calling this fire suspicious, but not saying, aside from the timing, if there are other reasons to suspect why this fire might have been set. I did speak briefly with the president of the Cheshire Fair Association. He says this should have no impact on the Cheshire Fair, which begins the end of July. In Swansea, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.